So just another quick video here. Just want to show another short example of how our mainstream media is always coded with what is called gematria. It's the practice of coding numbers into words and phrases. And the people who control our media, they control pretty much everything and the system is understood by them and it is manipulated and used. And all of our media stories are always coded with this system. If you're new, please check out the links in the description. And you know, really 15 minute video, four minute video explains exactly what I'm talking about, how you can apply this for yourself and see what I am talking about. It's very simple though. And you know, it's even connected to these, just the stupidest stories of all time. This lady supposedly getting 14 worms in her eye and she noticed it when she was on a salmon fishing boat in Alaska. And in Gematria, her name, look at her name here. Her name is Abby Beckley. In Gematria, Abby Beckley equals 39. And the whole story is about how she got eye worms that equal 39 in Gematria. You know? It's how every single day our media stories are coded this way. Just the word worm, worm equals 39 in Gematria, worm, right? Also, it said that in this article, she's from Oregon, Oregon equals 88 in Gematria. And she noticed that she had worms in her eyes on an Alaskan fishing boat, Alaskan fishing boat, that equals 88 in Gematria. Wormza with the S equals 88. She was even on a salmon fishing boat, and in Gematria, salmon even equals 88. Salmon 88, just pointed out. Worms 88 in Gematria. She noticed it when she was on that boat in Craig, Alaska. Craig, Alaska equals 83, and if you write out 14 eye worms, that equals 83 in Gematria. So, short example of how gematria is used every single day in our media stories. The person's name always syncs up to the subject in the story, or, you know, when it's a celebrity, their name might equal 50 and they die 50 days after their birthday. So many examples, I mean, it's countless examples. Check out other videos that I have. If you don't believe me and don't understand, or go to my blog that's also in the description and check out the other links you know, countless examples of how this is used every single day. Usually what I do too is try to figure out the theme that they're using. And, you know, I just didn't take the time to really go that in depth with this story. But just think about it, you know, they only found worms in one, her left eye. I think about that in regards to the ancient Egyptian stuff or the fight between Horus and Set. I'm sure there's some type of interesting connection that's going on with it, but I didn't take the, take the time to really get into the story because it just seems so pointless. Just wanted to show the short example of how Gematria is used. Her name equals the same as what the subject is about. So learn to apply this for yourself. You know, have a good one.